The numbers only begin to tell the story here. Wolf Creek Dam, 1,748 meters long, 79 meters high. It is the 25th largest dam in the United States. But because of the severity of seepage through its limestone rock foundation, in 2005, it was also listed as the riskiest. Enter Solatanj Bashi, worldwide leaders in foundation and ground technologies, with the experience and expertise in critical dam remediation to repair the foundation of this earthen embankment dam that, without intervention, could fail. The results would have been catastrophic. Um, you know, you'd have flooding all the way down um, through the river basin down to Nashville, uh, potential loss of life. Uh, and, and, and once you're faced with, with those kind of odds, and you come in and you fix it. Fixing Wolf Creek Dam will require innovation, logistics expertise, and a dedicated team from around the globe. The challenge? Construct a barrier wall through the earthen embankment from the working platform into the rock below, 1,200 meters long and reaching 84 meters in depth. At issue, the level of accuracy required to construct the wall. It's called verticality, an exacting engineering measure made possible through the use of sophisticated technology and the technical evaluation from the construction team. Normal within industry, we may say 1% verticality um, for, for a pile would be, would be good. A bit more care, we could do it to 0.5 maybe. And here we're talking at 0.1% verticality, which is, which is just fantastic. In other words, for this project, the team drilled down 84 meters. Their goal was to make sure that the holes at that depth were no more than 20 centimeters of being exactly vertical. The team delivered what was promised and more. Each and every time they achieved verticality that measured not 20 centimeters, but eight, an unprecedented achievement in the industry. Achieving that level of accuracy involves an intricate choreography of technology and teamwork. At its most basic level, the process involves some 180 daily control points. After a thorough investigation, the team began an extensive grouting program using multiple techniques to reduce the immediate seepage and get it ready for barrier wall construction. That added up to drilling 760 holes and pumping in 1.5 million liters of grout. The grouting is followed by the installation of a protective concrete wall through the clay embankment using the hydromill. The hydromill, invented by Solatanj Bashi in the 1970s and continuously refined and improved to stay at the cutting edge of foundation technology, is a specialized piece of equipment that allows the team to excavate efficiently. That's 2.8 meters uh, in length. Here we're using it 1.8 meter width which is sort of the largest we've had as far as a, um, a panel installation. The mill allows for one, a large excavation to go in. Um, it's very accurate as far as verticality is concerned. We have full control over um, the verticality as we go down and we can monitor in real time. Once construction with the hydro mill is completed, directionally drilled pilot holes, a new technique that has been developed on the project, are drilled to the final depth of the barrier wall. These pilot holes act as an accurate vertical guide for the drill rigs to follow. The interlocking elements of the barrier wall are constructed using reverse circulation drilling. Tools which use a mixture of air and water to remove the excavation material from the hole as the drill progresses downward following the pilot hole. Once all final checks are carried out, the concrete is poured, forming the barrier wall all 84,500 square meters of it, using concrete specially formulated in in-house laboratories to ensure correct placement at such a depth. Each step of the way is continuously monitored during drilling operations, allowing for vertical adjustment through the onboard computer and built-in inclinometers. Then all is verified separately using ultrasound technology, assuring the final geometry. Core samples provide additional verification that the wall quality is exactly on target and that Wolf Creek Dam is on its way to becoming safe and secure. But it's not only the dam that Solatanj Bashi is working to make safe, there is also the workplace itself. On any given day, there are some 40 major pieces of equipment and over 200 men and women on a platform only about 35 meters wide. The work here may be hazardous, and the potential for injury is always there. 
With that in mind, the team has created a culture of safety in day-to-day -day activities, where procedures are precise and policies followed. The result? Unparalleled success. Over one million hours achieved without a lost time incident. The environment is safe as well. About 700,000 cubic meters of excavated earth is being treated and disposed of in an area adjacent to the dam. In addition, the team treats more than 1.2 million liters of water each day. We've designed and built a series of basins um, which really take us from a, from a very dirty water um, down to, to, to a perfectly clean water that, that can get discharged directly into, into the river below. Wolf Creek Dam. Its journey is complex, going from the most vulnerable in the country to one of the safest anywhere in the world. Guiding the way, the men and women of Solatanch Bashi, ever mindful of the challenge at hand, ever ready for what lies ahead. We're here to build the best wall that we can and to be as clean and as safe as we can uh, while we're doing it. And they say caring is the, is, the, is the big thing in that. Taking pride in what we do.